Hi, hello, welcome and welcome to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. In our previous video, we saw about the LR function. That's the first function which is the LR about. And today in this video, we are going to see about LR continue on error. So let's see what is the similarities between LR about and LR continue on error and what are the differences between these two functions and how to use this LR continue on error and what are the various uses and what are the various values that we pass with LR continue on error function. And this is me, Vasan Sharmugam. I welcome you all once again to Little Sla YouTube channel. Please do subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet. Comment your questions and feedbacks, like and share the video with your friends. So with no further delay, let's go to the video. So here we have a valid working script and let's execute it and make sure it works fine. So I'm running an iteration of it. So let's see how does this script works and whether there are any issues. So here we can see the script has completed its execution successfully and let's make few changes to bring in some errors in this script. So in the transaction 3 which is the login to website so I'm just removing a value and this will create an error since we are not hitting the right URL and let's validate it once so I have removed an S so actions in the actions I have removed an S so, so, so but in the real world scenario we might get a lot of errors but here since we can I can emulate this scenario so I have brought this so at this line at this line 99 we could see the 500 the HTTP status code 500 the internal server error because we are not hitting the right URL and we are getting this 500 status code similar one we found in in our previous script as well where where, where we encountered the HTTP status code is equal to 500 then automatically the script has got recorded so this is a kind of a similar scenario but here if we run another iteration so here we can see so if we run another iteration automatically it goes to the second iteration but let me let's recap one thing so if we add the lr about the total v user will stop his execution but if we do not bring in the lr about we will do multiple iterations so here we can see we do multiple iterations so let's now see how to handle this with this lr continue on error so before we move on to see how to use this lr continue on error so let's see what does this lr continue on error does and let's see how to add this function so this is the place where we get the error so we can have two either two ways so one is lr underscore and the control space bar and we get the and we get the lr continue on error and inside this here we can see we can pass a integer value so we have five integer values which starts from zero to one two three and four and let's try them one by one but before that let's see what does this LR continue on error tells us so this function specifies on how to handle the errors so we can choose to continue running if an error occurs or if we want we can abort the execution and normally we can specify how the test run happens so we can we can handle the errors during script execution using the general section so here we can see we have this runtime settings and under this if we go to the miscellaneous and here we can see continue on error option so let's click on this 
and let's see what happens so here I have selected click on uh, continue on error and we have an error here so let's see what happens now so we are running the script and we have chosen continue on error so automatically you can see even though there we have observed an error at the line 99 automatically the next transactions or the next steps have executed have got executed and even the next iteration will have got executed but one thing we have to see is which is after the 99 we could see only the 115 transaction has got executed which is any transaction starting from 100 to 115 that is this particular transaction has not got executed any of the other values has not got executed so let's now see how to handle this scenario or what are the options we have while executing this so let's start with the first variable which is LR continue on error and the passing integer value is 0 and let's start executing it and let's see how does this work so now we have LR continue on error 0 and this we normally call it as we normally call it as for no option after error so let's see how does this work so we have given the first continuous and error integer value which is a zero and let's execute the test and see and before that let's remove this setting so we will remove this continue on error so that we this no, does not make any impact on the script so now we are running the script and let's see how does this lr continue on error and the integer value zero works which is it has to work in an option where no option after error should work and let's now see what happens so here we can see in our very first example that after the line 101 which is where the where we get or where we start the error or where we start to observe the error and this was the highest severity level was error so which is the error is 500 and we can see that the test has got stopped I mean after we were not continuing after this error and that is what is being told here so web submit data so which is the line where we got error that is the highest level of error so let's now change this continue on error from integer value 0 to integer value 1 then we are on line 99 so let's change it to 1 so before that let's do this way so let me comment this and let's create the LR continue on error the integer value is going to be 1 and let's come in. so this is for continue on error so which is similar to what we do in the runtime settings so here we have made that as continue on error so let's uh, now see how does it work so now the continue on error is going to be one so let's see how does this work So here we can see we had two iterations and as we mentioned in the script in the step 102 where if we get any error it should automatically continue so let's just go there and see what happens so here we can see so this is the line where we get the error since we removed the s in the car the actions so here we can see the web submission 
the highest level say see the previous one the zero where we have observed the highest level which is the error and here we could see it is continue on error so that is how the second value that is the one works so let's now move to the third one which is the two which is continue on error which is going to be two and this is skipping it skips to next option on error so let's now see how does this work so previously we saw about zero that's LR continue on error the int value zero and then we continue with LR continue on error value one that is for continue on error so we saw that so even though we got an error so we were continuing our transaction which is we started to execute the next transaction so now we could see LR continue on error two and which is skipping to next option and error so let's run the test and see how does it work So here we can see that the highest value was continue on error so this is something similar to the previous one but the only difference is instead of executing it to the next steps it has skipped the next action after error in view script so this has skipped to the next action so here we can see so it has skip the next action which is the next iteration so that is what this LR continue on error 2 does so now let's try the fourth value which is LR continue on error 3 which is the fourth value and this will skip to next iteration on error so let's now see that how does it work so previously we saw about LR continue on error 0 and then we saw about 1 and 2 and now it's 3 which is skipping to the next iteration and let's now run the test let's run execute the test and see how does it work so now we are trying with the fourth option which is LR continue on error 3 So here we can see, so this is the value that we use, which is the LR uh, continue on error value 3. And here we can see, which is skipping to the next iteration. So previously it was next action and now it is skipping to the next iteration. So that is how the LR continue on error 3 works. Let's now try the last option we have, which is the LR continue on error which is 4 and let's see how does it work so this will end this will end the v user on error so when it sees an error so it will end the user so this is something similar to the abort so the abort will stop or will end the user whenever it faces any errors based on any condition so for example in our previous video we saw that if we encounter an HTTP status code error the same code error which we executed it and if we since we face that under the if condition we have stopped the test and we have aborted the execution so, so this is something similar so this will end the V user on error so let's run the test and see how does it work
so here we can see it has just executed only one iteration so here you can see only one replay error has got executed and it was like it executed only one iteration and once we have encountered the error so it has end the v user after the error in the script so this is something similar to lr bot so in lr bot if we see that if we find any any errors it will end the execution of the error based uh, execution of the users based on that scenario we define so this is how the lr continue on error works i hope this video would have been very useful to you please do subscribe like comment your questions and feedbacks in the comment section and if you have any queries please do comment in the comment section and until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye from vasant shanmugam and little's law